I am so excited guys. I am making a dream come true this winter by finally doing a Southeast Asia trip that I have had planned for years and we are starting with Indonesia. Some of you may already know that Southeast Asia has kind of been one of the most locked down areas in the world during COVID and it's really been only in the start of this year that most countries have began to open up. But the reason that I'm starting with Indonesia outside of it being a very beautiful and interesting country is because it's actually an anomaly where a lot of the countries in Southeast Asia are kind of going through their monsoon season right now. But in August, September and October, it's actually a very good time to visit Indonesia, specifically Bali. I'm not going to be a total tourist about it where I'm just going to go to Bali like the masses, of course. I am flying into Jakarta and my flight is at the end of the month. So I will be starting in the capital city, kind of doing the main island first, hopefully seeing a volcano. And then uh, after about three or four weeks, if I can get a visa extension, I will be heading to Bali. But let's get back into today's video, which as you can see from the mountain of things surrounding me is a packing video. I don't really do these a lot, I guess, even though I've had a lot of suggestions that I should. So I thought, what the heck, I have a lot of stuff I have to check to see if it actually fits in my bags. Let me actually do it on camera with you guys and give you some tips, you know, that I have learned from being a full-time traveler. But before we get into the packing, I actually wanted to share with you guys one thing that I definitely don't leave home without, which is a great VPN. So a very big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video because it is their VPN that I have used for over a year now in many different countries and it has definitely come in handy to keep me safe online. Some of you may not know this, but when you go abroad, you can actually be limited or blocked from visiting certain websites. I've had situations where some of my banking and membership sites have been blocked, and it was only because I was able to change my IP location with Surfshark that I was able to access them as if I was at home. It's also great because you can literally travel the world with their VPN and be able to access different country streaming libraries like Netflix and Hulu. But most important, it's a great way to secure yourself online when you're using public Wi-Fi, like I do a lot of the time when traveling, and it helps you send and receive your files safely. So in sponsorship with Surfshark, I have an amazing offer for you guys, where if you click the link in my description and use the code ALINA, you will get 83% off of your plan, as well as three months for free. That is an incredible deal that comes out to just a few dollars a month, I have paid for my own plan, which I have on my phone and on my laptop. It's just a really great way to keep yourself safe online. So let's get back into packing, starting with the actual bags, the actual suitcases that I am taking with me on my trip. The first of which is, of course, my little leather crossbody sort of bag that has been with me through so many countries now and I especially like a crossbody sort of style because it lets you have your hands free so I can shoot and you know not have to hold the purse. The other reason that I really like crossbody bags is of course because of their sort of safety aspect where I can easily just put my bag in front, I can put my hand you know on the flap that opens it and if you're in a situation where you're a little bit worried about pickpocketing or something, it's a bit of a better bag to have than, you know, a hand toad or something on your shoulder. This bag will obviously be going with me on the plane as well as my little Samsonite suitcase, which I've had for quite a few years now. It has served me really well. And this is basically the bag where I put all of my electronics. In going over my gear, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because we would be here all day. I think I will do a separate video where I go over all of those things. If that's something that you guys wanna see, comment down below. But for today, I'm just gonna go over the basics of how I have everything stored. So this little guy is a lifesaver. It's by Bag Smart. I think I got it on Amazon like three, four years ago. And it's just a really great thing because it organizes 
all of your cords. I have my external drive in here. I have all my different like plugins for cameras, all the little accessories that one needs to have. I usually have my tripod that goes in here as well, but obviously I'm filming on my Sony right now, so those two things would go in here as well. And then I also have my drone, which uh, I think they do have a rule that you can't check drones in your checked luggage. I think you have to have it with you um, in your carry-on, so obviously that will go in here as well. And then over here I have these two guys, uh, just because there isn't room in my big smart bag. This is the DJI Osmo Action, which I really like. And then for my live streaming, I have the Osmo OM4, also by DJI. If I do a tech <laughs> gear video, you guys will see my extensive love for DJI. And then I, of course, have my sleep mask uh, as well as some earplugs. I've said many times that I'm such a light sleeper. And since I have such a long flight to Jakarta, I will definitely need some shut eye and hopefully some quiet. Next up, I have this little jewelry case, um, just really cute and holds all of my jewelry that I want to have with me on my trip. So obviously I put that um, in my carry-on. Probably most important is of course all of my documents that I keep in this little folder because I'm always afraid of like what if something spills on it or something. So I just go to the dollar store and I get these sort of like you know plastic sort of envelopes that actually seal shut and that's where I have my passport. I have my, you know, printed vaccine forms. I always have like five copies of my passport in different places and in my purse. So heaven forbid I ever lose my passport, I can just go to the embassy and show them the photocopy. And then with this, I'm pretty old school. I like to have an actual you know, book as my date planner. I don't like to enter things all into my phone. So even though it's a little bit heavy, I like to have an actual planner to plan my work, write things down, and I just like it. So that is everything for this side of the little suitcase. And then I just have my laptop, which I have a case for that I put on this other side. And that's more or less everything that I put in my carry-on. I lied, actually it's not. I forgot that I do have a little amenity case where I have like a toothbrush, toothpaste, some you know cleansing wipes, moisturizer, all of that kind of stuff, contact solution, all of that is in this case ready to go for security. And one thing that I actually anticipate people mentioning here is that why don't I bring an extra you know pair of clothes in my suitcase? And yes, I agree, maybe like underwear is definitely one thing that I would pack just in case my checked bag gets lost. But what I actually try and do instead is to dress in layers when I'm going to the airport. So have like, let's say I'm wearing this outfit, which probably I will be wearing. Uh, I would also put, you know, some kind of jacket over it. And since I am going to Indonesia, which is actually a much more conservative country, I don't know if I'll be like actually covering my hair, but I thought it would just be, you know, respectful to actually bring a scarf with me so not only could I wear that as a headdress but I can also wear that to kind of just have an extra layer to be warm on the airplane because I get so cold <laughs> on international flights. Now in talking about my main bag you guys have probably seen this Osprey Fairview backpack in quite a few of my videos because I have been traveling exclusively with this guy for I guess basically two years now, I think it has been. So it has been through a lot, fair enough, and it is in very good condition other than one fact, which is this little backpack not being able to be zipped up to the main one. The zipper on it unfortunately rusted and a part of it also fell off, so there's no way for me to actually zip up the outer zippers to firmly attach it to the bag. So instead, instead I did find a solution where I do have these straps that, you know, came with the bag that I do put through the top and bottom part of the bag. But what I decided to do to really secure it is get this little strap thing that I found on Amazon. I think it is just like a luggage strap or something. Put it through the top part of each bag, clip it, 
and there we go. <laughs> it's not a perfect solution, but it's a makeshift solution. And I just felt like there wasn't really anything else, you know, wrong with the bag. Everything else about it has been fantastic. And I really like being able to have, you know, a day bag, which I can put my drone and all my filming gear in if I really want to bring a lot of stuff with me for um, a filming day or if I'm going hiking. I also really like that this bag opens up like this. I don't like the backpacks that just have like the top little part open. I also like this bag because it opens up so you can see everything. And what I always put at the bottom of my bag, the heaviest thing <laughs> that I have in my check-in is of course my beauty products. Once again, I think I will do a whole video just on my top like beauty toiletry recommendations for travel because I honestly stock up before I leave on a trip because there are certain things that are super important to me that I can't get abroad. So I bring a lot with me even though it weighs a lot. So in having that at the bottom, I just kind of stuff it with other things that I need like an umbrella because I'm sure there will still be some rain when I'm in Southeast Asia. And then I also have a first aid kit that has, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. I have smaller versions um, in my carry-on that I bring, you know, just like a little bit of Tylenol, a few band-aids, a few of the basics, but this is kind of the main guy where I have a whole bunch of other stuff. I have a couple of packing cubes where like I have my underwear and socks in these guys um, just because I usually also use like this bag to wash more delicate things. But to be honest, I haven't really gotten into the whole packing cube thing. Um, I just, I don't like them. I don't know why. I don't actually like packing cubes or maybe I just haven't found any that work for me. Now, instead of me just showing you guys how I literally stuff everything into my bag, that is what I actually do. Let me give you guys a little fashion show of just a few of the outfits that I am bringing with me to Indonesia. So that is it guys. I did manage to get all of those clothes and all of those things in my bag, but I realized I forgot for some reason to put on these shorts that I'm taking with me basically as something, you know, to exercise in or hike in for hot weather. And then also I have a pair of just like denim shorts. So those two things I didn't show, but that I'm also bringing. As far as shoes go, I basically have a rule that I usually only have two pairs of shoes with me, where obviously I need a good pair of runners for touring a city, exercising, hiking. These are probably the shoes that I'm gonna travel in as well. And then I also have a little pair of sandals, which I try and get in that region of like casual, but could go with the dressy outfit, you know, kind of keep it pretty basic and nice and sleek. And then I also try and limit myself to only one hot tool. So for now, I just have a straightener that I will be taking with me. And then last but not least, I have this bag, which is basically just everything. It's just the most random things like my contact lenses, my makeup brushes, you know, tweezers, nail polish. Actually, that is one thing that I didn't 
put in this video is I have also like a little makeup case. So that stuff is going to go in this bag. And I think, I think it should all fit. So that is the situation. That is a very honest packing video for you guys. These are the very basic sort of things that I think I've always more or less had with me on my trips. It does definitely help that I'm going to countries where it's going to be hot out because then you can definitely pack more clothes and not have it take up so much room. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you have been to Indonesia, please let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions of things to see and do. And as always, I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.